Hiya. Um, I'm just going to do a, an unboxing uh, and a little bit of a, a, a talk through of a new tab that I bought. Um, got to them today, so very excited. Um, so I was in the market for a new tab. Um, I was looking around, you know, all the major main brands um, to see, you know, what, what I'd like. Because I, I was shooting one of these up until now. It's an old Cavalier A tab. It's a very good cab, tab, very decent tab. Um, but I've, I've run into a few um, things with it um, that I think you know it's time for me to buy a new tab. So one of them was this 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 tab has got a, a metal spacer on it, so it's probably an old. I don't even know what it, this might even be one of the first original spacers they had on there, um, and it's it's not very big, so as you can see, um, it doesn't really offer me much um, spacing on my fingers. Not very comfortable. And the corner here of that uh, space that digs into my finger every now and again, so it's not very nice. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, time for an upgrade. So, yeah, that's my old tab. So I was looking around. Um, oh, the other things to mention, to be honest about it. Um, this is an extra large, so it's quite important actually to, to know because uh, my hands are massive. I'm seven foot tall, so. Um, um, I do run into some issues uh, buying equipment, uh, archery equipment. Um, so that's why you know, I was looking around to see what's a big, comfortable tab you know, out there for me. Uh, and I came across um, this company here called CTH. So uh, I hadn't heard of them before. So um, I looked up the website, had a look around, uh, you know, read the, all the information on the site, and I was really impressed. Um, they, you know, they, they explain in detail about you know how they designed the tab and. Um, what the features are and uh, things like that uh, and yeah I really liked it so there are loads of different options different sizes uh, different colors um, different materials so I was impressed so placed my order and uh, you know a week later it arrived I was thinking you know considering it came from uh, from Israel um, and you know with the coronavirus and, and lockdown situation only you know a week to get here you know I'm really impressed by that so you know uh, when I came back from from the range this morning it was sitting on my doorstep, um, yeah, ready for me to try. So, without further ado, um, I'll turn my camera around and um, let have a look to see what's in the box. So, let's have a look then. Um, so, there's the box, have a close look at the box. Um, CTH Archery, that's logo on the front. And on the side here we have um, a slogan, Crush the Competition. I like that, so that's a good motivation there. On the back we have uh, the Maximus uh, tab logo, There's a kangaroo with a uh, Roman style gladiator helmet. Um, then we've got some details like uh, right-handed, um, you know, size, materials, details like that. And then on the other side we have the company's cdataarchery.com. So I'll put this in the in the description below as well, so you can have a look at that. So right. Um, just before I was just let you know, um, I've I've ordered additional um, bits and bobs uh, with this tab. So I've got um, additional leather. Um, I've got uh, an additional um, tab plate as well, so a different material and a finger spacer because I want to you know, try out all the possibilities there. Are, well, some possibilities there are with the tabs and different combinations to see what works best and what feels best, um, so I can you know get the best tab that suits what well, suits me. Um, so. I, there's Maximus again, a sticker, and here we have a Crush the Competition wristband with the company logo. Now here's, uh, here's one finger spacer, this is a Mark 2.5 finger spacer, this is the hollow plastic one. Go into some more details in a minute. And in this little bag we have the Mark 3 finger spacer, it's like a squishy, more flexible plastic um, and we have the pinky rest and the, the shelf right there um, the finger strap and allen keys and the screws um, these parts are 3d printed but they are printed with quality uh, quality materials so you know, they're very solid uh, very well done uh, and now here we have the uh, the additional uh, the extra tab plate orders it's a stainless steel one and here we have the this is a Mark II tab plate uh, with fetch tan kangaroo leather. And let me just take this out and put the box 
side. And this is the um, the chrome tan um, kangarilla. So I've, there's there's several bits and pieces here to to try. So different different plates, uh, different finger space, different leathers. So I'm going to try the combinations out, um, different combinations, and see what I like. Um, so what I'm going to do next is we're going to go. Uh, I'll take this off. So we'll, we'll lay, take everything out of the bags, lay it out. And then we'll go through uh, some of the bits and pieces and uh, talk a bit more about them. Right, so here we are. Here are all the, uh, the, the the parts of the tab. Um, I've got a uh, I've got a Mark II tab here. So Mark the Mark II tab has got some uh, design improvements. Um, one of which is the um, the additional slots at the top of the uh, the plate here. Um, that means that you can use the the longer strap um, to strap your index finger as well as your middle finger um, to the tab rather than you know, if you use a shorter one you just have to use the traditional uh, your middle loop that you put your middle th finger through um, so it's quite a nice feature I think so um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to seeing how that, uh, that works, how it performs. Um, when you buy your tab, or when you order your tab, um, you get to choose uh, out of, of, you know, from two different materials uh, for the tab plate, one is aluminium, the other one is stainless steel. The aluminium plate uh, weighs 16.8 grams, and the stainless steel plate weighs 49.7 grams. So there's a significant difference in weight between these two. Um, and the stainless steel one is almost three times as heavy as the, uh, the aluminium one. So um, that's why I got both to see the difference between and you know how they feel and, and perform really, and then see which one I like better. Um, just to notice, it's a large tab. They also do a smaller than medium. Um, so with the large tab, you get components that are large as well. So the leather is larger, the finger space is larger, as well as the uh, the pinky rest, I believe, and the, um, the shelf are all larger. Um, so when you when you select your uh, the plate you want, whereas aluminium, stainless steel, um, then as standard, um, your tab comes with a, a chrome tanned white chrome tanned uh, kangaroo leather. Um, you can upgrade this to different colors of uh, chrome tanned um, kangaroo leather for uh, an additional charge. Um, and you can also upgrade it to um, a veg tan um, kangaroo leather. So this is a new addition uh, with a Mark II as well. Um, <clears throat> so the difference between the veg tan and the chrome tanning is really the tanning process. Um, as the name says, because this chrome is just veg tan. But, so chrome tanning results in a more uh, pliable um, leather. Um, that tends to be softer. Um, so typically, uh, this leather will be used for, um, say, leather clothes like jackets. Um, this will be used for leather bags, for instance. Um, and veg tanning results in a much stiffer, um, uh, much more rigid, not really stiffer, but much more rigid uh, leather that use, is used for, um, for instance, typically used for shoes, um, for leather belts, uh, but also um, leather quivers um, because this holds this shape a lot better. Um, as you know, side by side, you can see this is a lot more pliable than, than this. So they, they they both have their own different properties. Um, with the veg tan leather, um, after you know when you break your tab in, you'll get a more um, defined string groove in your in your tab. A bit like uh, when you shoot with a grab my other tab. Uh, when you shoot with a, a quarter of tab, for instance, you know after using it for a while, you get a, a string groove defined in there. Um, yet, yeah, but just to note, this kangaroo leather is so more subtle and softer than um, than cordovan leather. Anyway, um, with the um, chrome tan leather, um, I can imagine you get a lot better feel, string feel with this. Um, so rather than hooking with it with a bedchamber, for instance, finding the hook and putting your fingers behind it, you just you know feel the, the string through the through leather. So I'm really interested, interesting to uh, be really interested to find out what differences between these two in performance. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to testing these two uh, and then finding out what my you know, preferred combination is. Um, the benefit of kangaroo leather over um, cordovan as well is that um, it doesn't take near as much time to, to break in. Cordovan can take weeks to break in until you get that uh, to get subtle enough and to get a groove. Um, with kangaroo leather it's a lot quicker, it's a really lot quicker. Um, so, you know, if you're in a scenario where you're in, in tournament um, season and 
your, you know, something happens to your tab or you need to replace your face, it takes you time to break in your tab face with, with kangaroo leather. Um, you know, that, that won't be, you know, won't be as long at all. Um, you can shoot maybe a couple of rounds, you know, shoot, shoot a day, do a, do a round, and your, your tab will think will be ready to go. Um, I know there's only one other um, a tab on the market that uses kangaroo leather, and it's a fairer tab. Um, so that's what attracted me to this one as well, because I use kangaroo leather. Um, so if you, if you noticed, um, there's three pieces of leather. So you got the, the first to have the smooth side facing the string, and the last side is uh, the other way around, where it has the smooth side facing your, your fingers. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how, um, how this performs. Um, so now moving on, um, move on to the, uh, to the other bits and pieces, so the coloured uh, parts of the tab. Um, the tab comes in, these parts, these bits come in, uh, I think about 13 or 14 different colours. I know the, the flexible um, the Mark III finger spaces comes in a few, a few colours less than the rest, uh, but you can really customise you know, between the different colours, uh, leather between these two plates, uh, and there's like 14 different colours of your parts. You can really make it your own. Um, the shelf is, um, they, they've made it like a teardrop design. Um, it's designed like this to, to prevent you scratching your neck when you follow through when you release. Um, so if you look at my old tab, it's got quite a chunky square um, shelf on it. And you have a, I have a tendency of, of, of you know, brushing this against my neck and it's not a very comfortable feeling. So they've made it a lot more rounded uh, a lot more smooth, make it as comfortable as possible. So when you do make contact, or if you do make contact with your neck, it's not going to hurt you. Um, and this is the pinky hook as well. What more can I say? Really, it's a um, it's a nice, nice shallow design. I've, had, I've, I've not really used pinky hooks before. Um, I've had on, on one of my other tap, but I couldn't get on with it because the um, it was too sharp. The, the curve was too sharp. So this is nice and and you know it's a lot straighter. So I'll give that a go. Um, so finger spaces, there's two different types here. Um, uh, it's the, the Mark 2.5, so it has a few new design features compared to the, the previous edition. And so there's the branding, so it's a nice chunky finger spacer, um, which I like, which is one of the, uh, the, the key things I'm looking for in a tab. Um, it has the stay in place um, bushing in here, so that's the bushing where you attach it to your um, so your tab, the screw goes in, and then I don't know if you can see in a light here. Can you? Let's have a look. So it has a bushing that goes all the way through. That is secured by a screw on this side. It's countersunk that holds the bushing in place. So as you screw um, your this to your tab, and it pulls it into the tab, this prevents the bushing from actually coming out and provides a really strong and secure fit to your tab face. So, and the next one is just a slightly different variety. This is a Mark III, and this is made out of a flexible filament. So, let's see if I can see if you can see it. Actually, is quite it's a bit squishy. It's not rubber. It's like a it's like a soft plastic. And I'm really I'm really interested in, in actually using this because it, it just feels really comfortable when you put it between your fingers like this. So yeah, that'll be interesting to see. Um, between the two of them, which one I prefer. And then here you got the two um, two finger straps. So one is um, for if you want to secure it around your middle finger, and the longer one is if you want to around your um, index finger and your middle finger. Um, so as a recap, when you buy a tab, you choose a plate, um, aluminium or, or stainless steel. Then a standard that comes with a um, chrome, a white chrome batch tan leather. Uh, for a small charge, you can upgrade to uh, a colored version of the chrome ones, or you can um, choose a veg tan uh, from the Mark II ones, um, and then you choose the colors for your parts, and that makes up your tab basically. Uh, so, what I'll do next is I will put a, the plate back on the, uh, the veg tan leather, um, and then we'll, um, we'll see what it looks like with the, uh, the bits and pieces on it. So here we go. 
puts the, um, the plate back on the leather. So if we take, I'm going to put the, um, the Mark III on here. As you can see, you've got, got a nice bit of adjustment there, but you can move it, slide it up and down. Um, so I just roughly put it in place. And that is, that is now solid. Uh, and one nice feature as well with these ones is that these, these screws are flat, so it's nice so it doesn't catch on anything. Um, so I'll put the strap through and I'll do it so it goes around both fingers. And there you go. So now put my fingers through the strap. Just tighten this a bit. And you can see that that's what it looks like when you have both fingers through. And it is really secure. I mean, I can't. You know, it's not going to go anywhere. So, yeah, really like that. Um, so, with regards to the leather as well, just to mention. The, the leather is obviously quite big. Um, they left a big on purpose, so you can actually really fit it to your fingers. Um, I, mean, I need to trim a bit off, which is fine. But as they explain in one of their videos, if, if you, for instance, someone had like a medium tab with a medium medium leather, but they've got long fingers, the tab wouldn't work for them. So they leave it long on purpose with the intention that you you do trim it to suit your needs, so you can really tune it to your um, to your hands, which is really nice. The, um, the shelf in place. Tiny screws and big hands are not a good combination. So here we go. And these don't have to be tightened up too much, you just have to nip them because it is plastic. Tighten too much, and they uh, they could damage the plastic potentially. But yeah, I've just nipped them shut, nipped them tight, and you know, they flash, and yeah, and it's solid. It's not going anywhere. And yeah, there's the um the shelf. So you can you have the pinky rest. Like I said, I've not really shot with a pinky rest much uh, before, but you've got all these these holes on the bottom here, and you can put this in several positions along the bottoms, and you've got you know, these holes, and they've got elongated slots in there, so you can really find. The position where you want your finger, uh, your pinky hook, uh, to be in, um, and that's it. What I'll do is I'll put a link to the um, to the company through to the website uh, below in the description, um, and I'll put their Facebook and Instagram on there as well, so you can have a look. Got lots of images and uh, good stuff on there, um, and that is the review of um, the unboxing and the initial thoughts on the um, the Maximus tab by C to H Archery. So what I'll do next is I'll um, I'll trim the leather off and then I'll I'll shoot it for a while and I'll do another review of my thoughts of um, you know what I think of the tab and the different combinations with the different plates and maybe different leather and see um, see, you know, see what works best for me. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and till next time.